Hello, this is Renathan, and welcome to week three of the NPA. This week we are taking on Leo and the Derm Dredigens. Dredigens, I don't know how you say it. Um, anyway, so I was, I was really afraid of this team, of course. Uh, Leo is a great battler. His team is very, very good. Um, somehow we let him have Manaphy, Mammoth Swine, and Mega Gallade. Um, I, I, I don't know how we let that happen, but, but we did. So, <laughs> that's what we're dealing with this week. So, anyway, um, I'm just getting right into the team. Um, of course, I'm going to um, put a timestamp for when the battle starts, so you can skip to that um, if you would like. So, yeah. Um, leading off, we have Superior with the Yachi Berry, with Leaf Storm, Dragon Pulse, Giga Drain, and Defog. Um, really, like, uh, this this was kind of like the only set. Um, Leaf Storm and Dragon Pulse, of course. Everything else was kind of... Um, um, put on there for separate reasons, but Leaf Storm, Dragon Pulse, of course. Leaf Storm, you gotta have Dragon Pulse. Like he's got the uh, he's got two dragons, um, both of which uh, resist grass, of course. So Dragon Pulse is kind of necessary on there. Um, the only other things that um, that resi uh, resist grass are the Rotomo and the Garboder, uh, and the Zatu. He actually has a lot of and the he has a lot of grass resist actually. But um, all of them take a, a huge strong from Dragon Pulse, a plus two, so I uh, didn't really see feel the need for too much for Hidden Power. I could have put Hidden Power Ice there. I um, decided just to go with Giga Drain there. Um, I originally had Synthesis in this spot, and um, we, I decided to choose Giga Drain just because um, Leaf Storm, of course, has limited PP, and I felt felt like I'd be clicking it a lot in this matchup. So um, I just kind of want to have like a 100% accurate move that could like heal me and is like 100%. Uh, and just has a lot of PP, so I thought that seemed nice. Uh, Defog's on there, um, actually. I'm going to get into that in a minute, um, because I do have Sticky Web on the Masquerain, and um, that was just because, um, of course, the Zatu um, can magic bounce away my Sticky Web, so um, it actually kind of creates a nice scenario where if he bounces away the Sticky Web, of course, I get the speed boost with Contrary, which is really nice in case he's like Z Rain Dance Manaphy, or he's... Um, or he's just scarfed on some stuff, this thing will literally outspeed his entire team after that, so that would be nice. And then I can just defog it away, um, so it doesn't hurt the rest of my team. <clears throat> and then I got the Yachi Berry on there. Um, Yachi Berry is for both Mammoth Swine's Ice Shard and the Ice Beam from Manaphy. Um, both of them, I knew, were, uh, were huge threats, so um, Yachi Berry just kind of covers both of those. Um, next up, we have Cobalion Air Balloon with Sword Stamp, Substitute, Iron Head, and Close Combat. Um, this thing is pretty much my Mammoth Swine check. Um, if you look at my team and like even like Mons I have, like I don't really have much that deals with Mammoth Swine. So this is kind of the best I could do. Um, of course, it can switch in on EQ setup. Um, it, it'll it won't want to stay in on this thing at all. So um, yeah, this thing's pretty good for that. And overall, this thing just has a really good matchup against this team. Um, once I get rid of the Mega Gallade, you know. Um, this thing pretty much just comes in and uh, and and does does many things. So <laughs> yeah, um, Cobalion, another great matchup this week. Um, hopefully to the level of, of what it did last week. But um, uh, cross cross your fingers there. Um, next up we have Musharna, and this was for the Mega Gallade because I didn't really have anything that could uh, switch into Mega Gallade and. Um, other than the uh, Masquerade, but like I don't want that to keep doing that. <laughs> so, um, Musharna, um, of course, Fizz Death, can pretty much take anything from, from that thing. Um, Culverberry for those knockoffs. And then Psychic and Dazzling Gleam hit pretty much his whole team. Dazzling Gleam, of course, is four times effective on the Hot Dragon, and it is super effective on the Gallade, so I thought, why not? And then Psychic hits everything else. Um, and then the Steelix, but I wasn't really too afraid of the Steelix. And then we have Thunder Wave and Healing Wish. Um, I almost went uh, Moonlight, but I didn't really see many scenarios where I thought I would uh, need to keep healing up. Like, I pretty much just need to uh, just need to either paralyze the Gallade or keep it from setting up subs. And, like, the healing won't really help me there. Um, so, yeah. And then, uh, and Healing Wishes is really nice. Of course, I can heal back up the uh, Superior, or I can heal back up the uh, Cobalion, or... Um, or really, really anything, like, all of my team could appreciate the Healing Wish. And next up, we have the Masquerade with Air Slash, Hydro Pump, Sticky Web, and Quiver Dance, Fly, Inium Z. Um, this was mainly to catch, kind of, the Zatu off guard, um, because I knew he was probably going to bring it, because Sticky Web is a huge threat to his team, so uh, I Quiver Dance up on, on the switch, and then I just kill it with Z Air Slash. And then, uh, and then I'm pretty much like, I'm home free, like I can set up Sticky Web, um, I can Hydro Pump stuff, just gotta really watch out for the Mammoth Swine, but um, other than that, 
Masquerain um, is pretty pretty nice in this matchup. Um, next up is the uh, Tyranitar, and this is max attack, max HP. This was also um, to kind of catch the Zatu. Um, Air Slash was Air Slash was in, or Z Air Slash wasn't specifically for the Zatu. It's just in general like that does a ton of damage to his team. Like his his literally his only flying resist is a Steelix. And for one thing, there's no guarantee he's going to bring it in two. It just drops to a Hydro Pump. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, nothing wants to take a plus one Supersonic Sky Strike from this thing. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, this thing's got the pursuit for the Zatu. Of course, it's got the Stealth Rock. So, um, if the if the Zatu wants to uh, try to bounce these rocks away, then it's getting screwed. Then Stone Edge and Low Kick. Um, Low Kick is just fantastic. Um, of course, it kills the Mammoth Swine, it kills the Steelix, uh, or two KOs the Steelix, kills the uh, two KOs the High Dragon, um, and then Stone Edge just it hits like literally everything else. So, uh, Mega, Mega Tyranitar, um, despite not really having a great like D Dance matchup here, actually um, it's quite nice. And that bulk is pretty nice too because it can usually live hits from Mammoth Swine. It can like live one hit from Manaphy. It can it can live some hits. So that's pretty nice. It also switches in the High Dragon. Um, uh, bar, um, uh, bar some focus blasts, so that's pretty nice. And finally, we have the Blacephalon with Fire Blast, Shadow Ball, HBS, and Toxic. Um, I, I will say I really should have put Mind Blown somewhere on here, just because I did have the Healing Wish and I could have taken advantage of that. Um, Toxic was mainly for the um, for the High Dragon, um, in case it was like some bulky set, but I really should have just stuck with like, I mean, HBS should have been enough for that. Um, and then of course Fire Blast, Shadow Ball are two stabs, but um, yeah, um, I, I will say I really should have put Mind Blown, and we'll get into that a bit later, but um, uh, yeah, this, this thing is pretty self-explanatory, just max speed, scarf, kill things, um, make sure Manaphy doesn't do too much with the Rain Dance, um, and, uh, and yeah, come in, can revenge Mega Gallade, which is nice, so yeah, that's, um, that's the team, and I will see you in the battle. Alright, so looking what he brought, he brought the Rotomo, the Manaphy, the Zatu, as I predicted, um, the Glade, the Mammoth Swine, and the Hydragon. Um, so yeah, the, the main uh, the main takeaway for me here was that he brought the uh, the Zatu. Um, I knew the Manaphy, the Glade, and the Mammoth Swine were almost definitely coming. Oh, and the Hydragon for the Blacephalon. Um, those were kind of musts. Um, the two wild cards were really the Rotom and the Zatu, um, I thought that those could be like interchanged with a lot of things, but um, I was pretty happy actually to see the Zatu because I, um, I did prepare for it, so um, yeah, it just wasn't a bunch of wasted prep for that, so that was pretty nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, so um, I, when I saw this matchup I knew it was like pretty straightforward, um, kind of what I needed to do because um, this, this, was, this looked like the team I prepared for, and, uh, and yeah, let's, let's see how it turned out. So. Uh, uh, let's... I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> I was about to do the Mario thing again, but let, let, let's not go there. So, anyway. Um, he is actually going to, um, or I am going to lead off with the Superior, and he's going to lead off with the, uh, with a Rotom. Um, I actually do make a dumb play here turn one. I should have just, um, switched into, like, Blacephalon or something, as I'm gonna go for the Leaf Storm, and I completely forgot that this thing gets Signal Beam. Um, as he's actually gonna go for that there, I was like, Oh, right, okay, this thing has Leaf Storm and Volt Switch, it can't hurt me. No, um, I'm, I'm actually an idiot, so, <laughs> yeah, I, I take a lot of damage on Superior there, um, uh, and, so yeah, I'm gonna have to switch out into Blacephalon here, as that Volt Switch doesn't take me down to half, which is, uh, which is nice. Um, I knew, I knew that it wasn't fully offensive, so I could take stuff, so he's gonna go into High Dragon here, and I'm already on my toes here, so I'm actually gonna have to go into the, uh, Tyranitar, so... Yeah, um, starting out, we're not um, we're not doing the greatest. So, <laughs> um, thankfully for me, he actually overpredicts here and goes for the fire blast, predicting the Cobalion. And um, I'm actually going to switch out here. Um, I don't want to risk this thing being like Vitinium Z or something, and then lo me losing my Tyranitar. So I'm actually just going to go into my Masquerade. Um, I figure there's no way he's going to go for the uh, fire blast again. So um, I get the Intimidate off. I can take literally any like fighting hit from this thing as he just decides to U-turn. So. Um, it reveals he probably does not have a fighting move, which is nice to know, so he's going to go out here and uh, into his uh, into his Rotom. And, um, <laughs> and I actually make another really dumb play here. Um, I knew I could take I could take a Volt Switch from this thing, like, easily, um, but I'm dumb, and uh, I actually go for the Sticky Web here. 
Um, I knew there was a good chance he'd go into the Zatu. Um, I just really wasn't thinking. This would have been a great opportunity for me to um, uh, to just go for the uh, Quiver Dance and then pick up a kill. But again, I am dumb. Um, I do have Sticky Webs on my side, and my Masquerine is at 13 HP. So, you know, we're, <laughs> we're, we're doing great. So I'm going to go into my Tyranitar here. Um, hoping that uh, he doesn't really he doesn't U-turn here as he actually goes for the hidden power and I wasn't really sure too sure what this hidden power was um, but it didn't kill me which is nice so I'm actually going to be able to mega evolve here and go for the uh, go for the pursuit so uh, yeah that's that's exactly exactly what I do so I'm gonna mega up here he's going to U-turn now but thankfully for me, Pursuit actually hits after the U-turn, so um, he's going to try to switch now. I'm like, um, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm girl, no. So, let's <laughs> see what that thing's called. It's called, um, no. Yeah, no, that's who, that's who's dead. Um, so that two down. Um, we are up, um, up 6-5 right now, so that's pretty nice. But he's going to bring in his mana fee, and I'm terrified of this thing. I need to get out of here. So I'm going to go into my superior. I do have the Yachi Berry in case he decides to uh, Ice Beam. As I do get stuck, caught in the sticky web, but I have a speed boost, so he's going to go for the Serp. Um, as that actually does a lot more damage than I thought it would. However, he is still forced to switch out, and this is actually where I, I wish I did have um, the uh, synthesis because I could have just synthesis up there, and I would have been in a much uh, better, uh, better state. But I'm actually going to um, make a prediction here, as I do predict the uh, him to bring in the. Uh, uh, the Rotom. So I'm actually in a good spot here because I'm a Scarf, I know I outspeed this thing, and I'm going to make two predictions here actually, and I'm going to go for the HP Ice. So this High Dragon's going to come in and it's going to take a ton from that HP Ice. I actually do get a crit. So um, yeah, um, this is uh, this is actually going quite nicely here. So I know this thing isn't Scarf, so I can still outspeed, and I'm going to just take this thing out with another HP Ice, and the High Dragon is down. So we were up 6-4, the High Dragon is down, something that's a huge threat for me. And um, the, like the only thing that can really switch in a Bliss Eflon, so uh, that's nice. However, um, I am forced to uh, switch out here as he brings in the Mana Fee, as I'm going to go into the Masquerade this time, and I'm going to sack it. And um, at this point, um, I wasn't sure what this Mana Fee was. Um, I actually, um, at this point in the match, I thought it was Scarf, um, because he, he locked himself into, um, uh, into Surf, uh, I believe, and then uh, he went for the Ice Beam there. Um, so... Um, I'm actually going to go for the Leaf Storm again here. Again, this is where I really wish I had uh, I had Synthesis, because it would have been so much nicer just to keep being able to heal up so I can switch, keep switching into the Mana Fee. As I do go for the Giga Drain there, which I guess was another misplay. Um, I just wanted... Um, I should have just gone for Defog or something there, as I do go for the Defog now. Um, and I, I, I don't know. I just just not making good plays with this Superior. Th this was a bad week for Superior. It's going to go for the Leaf Storm, and I can get knocked to 1 HP. Um, I'm not sure how much of a roll that was. I, I didn't calc. Um, I don't really know exactly what his EVs are, but um, I'm going to uh, abuse that opportunity and go into my um, and go to my Musharna because this thing has a uh, lowered special attack. So I am I am free to do this. So he's going to go into his um, into his Galade here, which is fine for me because um, I mean I, I have a Musharna. This this is my counter. So I'm actually going to make a kind of risky play here and go for a T Wave. Um, if he subs. Um, it's not the end of the world because I can just Dazzling Gleam and break it and then revenge it with uh, with Blacephalon. But um, he does decide just to go for the SD and I'm going to uh, paralyze this thing, um, uh, which, is, which is pretty nice. Um, as the, the, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say here, um, I actually forgot I had Blacephalon in the back though at this point, um, which was really dumb of me because... Um, See, I'm gonna go for the Dazzling Gleam. Um, Blacephalon could have come in and revenge that. Um, I really could have like revenged that with a lot of stuff. Um, I really should have just healing wished here because I really didn't need to go for the other Dazzling Gleam. Um, as you see, he gets paralyzed because um, I could have gotten the Superior back up. I could have gotten the Blacephalon back up. I I could have done a lot uh, of good things there. But um, instead, the Mistrone is gonna go down, and the Glade the Glade is pretty much dead, which is um, which is nice. So I'm gonna come in with the Blacephalon, and I'm gonna clean up with the uh, clean it up with the Shadow Ball. Um, so yeah, that uh, that Gallade's gonna go down. I do get my special attack boost, so um, by Gallade. Um, Blacephalon has two kills in this game, and he only has the Mammoth Swine, the uh, Rotom, and the Mana Feet left. So he's gonna bring in his Mammoth Swine, and at this point, I had no idea what this set was. Um, if it was if it was offensive, there's a chance Shadow Ball had like a 50% chance to kill. But I didn't want to risk it at this point, um, in case it's like some like uh, bulky AV set. 
as uh, he goes for the earthquake there, and I do have my uh, balloon, so I'm free to just go for a sword stance here. So he's gonna bring in his Rotom, um, just to sack it pretty much. Um, I didn't know what, what this thing was gonna do. Um, this is where I probably should have subbed or something, but I'm just gonna go for the close combat as that Rotom's gonna go down. I, I, didn't, I just didn't wanna uh, risk being at low HP or anything, um, or of course, um, him like burning me or something, but I, I should've just gone for uh, stop. And this is probably where the biggest misplay comes in. So I'm gonna go for the close combat. I, I am like convinced this thing is Scarf for some reason. Um, of course it's not though, as it knocks it down to like really low and it's gonna uh, go for the surf and with the two sped F drops, that is going to take me out. So um, I'm gonna go into what I could have done differently there. Um, however, it's still not over, as I'm gonna go into my, uh, into my uh, superior gear and I'm actually going to Giga Drain here, and this was another dumb play on my part. Um, I should have just gone for the Blissephalon and gotten the uh, gotten the Beast Boost because um, then I would have had a then I would have possibly been able to have a chance to kill a Mammoth Swine. But like I said, I didn't know what set this was. Um, but I mean, it was really dumb because the Giga Drain would not even give me enough to live an Ice Shard even with the Ashy Berry. So um, I, I really don't know why I, I did that. I should have just gone to the Blissephalon, but. Um, as I do go for the Blacephalon here, as it reveals that this thing is actually Scarfed. So this is a Scarf Mammoth Swine. Um, and Fire Blast actually has a chance to kill, and I miss. So, <laughs> yeah, things are not going too well here. Um, so I have, like, so here's my, my last option. Uh, Tyranitar, from this HP it has, has an 80% chance to live in Earthquake, because this is Jolly Scarfed. Um, so I'm just going to have to hope that I get that roll, and I can kill it with Low Kick, because Low Kick is guaranteed to kill here. So... <laughs> Final turn. He goes for the earthquake. Um, ground shaken. Tyranitar has to take this, and I get crit. Yeah. So that's that's how this one ends. Um, I mean, really, really not much I, I can say. Um, you know, like I said, there certainly could have things I could have done better. Um, like, like I said, when I stayed in with the Cobalion, um, had I saved that and, like, sacked something, I would have won, um, because, uh, Manaphy could have been, uh, yeah, had, had I switched into the, uh, Blacephalon there, um, I, I probably could have won, because then, uh, I would be able to come in on their Superior and, and take it out, um, or, or something, of, something of the like, um, I still really should have won, um, because I mean, I, I think I really did make the safest play um, because Tyranitar should have uh, should have been able to live that. Um, but yeah, just me not knowing the uh, Mammoth Swine and the, and the Mana Fee Sweat sets are kind of what made me lose this game. Um, everything else I, I did really well. Um, I think I prepped really well. Uh, Synthesis on Superior uh, could have possibly won me this game too. So um, that that's a lesson learned from the future. Um, but yeah, I, I think. I, th I think I played well, it's just uh, mind games and, um, you know, not knowing what the Manaphy and the Mammoth Swine were, like I said, that's really what I think led me to lose this game, because um, cause if I if I was able to figure out, like, exactly what sets they were, um, cause I, I, and I guess Leo purposely um, did it that way, um, I, I, I would have been able to win this game, most likely. Um, of course, um, at the end, it was kind of haxy as well, of course, with the Fire Blast miss and the uh, crit on Tyranitar. Um, and then also, like I said, um, I could have, I, I should have had Mind Blown on Blacephalon. Um, because had I had Mind Blown, I could have just come in and revenged the Mammoth Swine and won. So, yeah, Mind Blown on, uh, on Blacephalon, Synthesis into Superior. Um, just, just little things in building that, like, you know, you put on some weeks and you're like, you know what, I never end up using this, I don't need it. And then, like, you end up needing it, uh, one week and you're like, oh, well... But yeah, so as I said, it's a good lesson learned. Um, thankfully, it's only a 1-0. Um, would have would have been really nice to have this as a victory, but um, yeah, yeah, you win some, you lose some. It's just just how it works. So yeah, hopefully um, next week um, against uh, Iron Boffin, we come back and we're able to get back in the win column. Um, we're still we're still doing really nice. We're still we're still plus nine. We're still two and one. So it's not the end of the world. Um, and of course, losing to Leo is not a shameful thing because of course he, he is definitely one of the best so um yeah you know shit happens and uh we're just gonna have to we have to get back up and uh and, and win again so yeah um please uh remember to like this video if you enjoyed or subscribe um I, any any form of support is all appreciated 
and I will see you in the next video, and goodbye.